This is Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland is one of the most prolific goal scorers in all of modern soccer. Now, he is a phenomenon from Norway who plays for Manchester City. And this man averages about 0.81 goals per game. Now, at the professional level, at the high level that they are playing at, this is almost unheard of. Now, this is Pep Guardiola. Pep is the manager of Manchester City, one of the best managers of all time, in my opinion, next to Sir Alex Ferguson. But what he does is mastermind the players on the pitch, and especially when it comes to Erling, Pep can zone into Erling's zone of genius and make sure that he is in the right position to do the right things at the right time to bring the maximum ROI. What's up guys, Lou here, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're saying to yourself, mm, why are you talking to us about soccer? Don't worry, it does relate to real estate and productivity. Just give me a second to explain. Now, Erling Haaland grew up in the game of soccer. His dad was a soccer player and he grew up in it. Now, what happens when you grow up in something is that you get to see a whole side of the spectrum that not a lot of people actually do. You see the ins and the outs of the games, of the management, of the business of football. You learn everything about it. So when you learn everything about something, typically we tell ourselves that we should be doing all of these things. I know how to do it, so I'll just do it. And for us, we do the same thing. We know how to do paperwork, so we'll do all the paperwork. We know how to drive around with clients, so we'll drive around all the time with clients. But the thing about a player like Erling is, his zone of genius is scoring goals. Now, he is inside of the game playing. He's there to be like, hey, what do you need me to do for Manchester City? And I'll do it. Pep Guardiola on the other side is working on Manchester City. He's results driven and he knows that if he gets Erling and the other players in the right positions, doing the right job at the right time in their zone of genius, he knows that he will get the maximum result for what he's doing. So the question then becomes, are we working in our business or are we working on our business? And do we know what our zone of genius is and do we know what to do to actually get there? So let's have a look here. This is the formation of Manchester City uh, on any given Sunday. And you can see here, our boy Haaland is right up the top here. Center forward, his job is to score goals and go in like that. Like I said, Haaland's really great at scoring goals, but he also knows how to do most of the other things on the pitch. It's not his zone of genius, it's not what he should be doing, but he could do them theoretically. So what's to prevent Haaland going all the way back here into this position here, chasing balls over here, maybe even coming over here and saving a goal or doing whatever it is out here, out there. What's to prevent him from going all those places and taking away from his productivity? Well, Pep the manager says, hey, I don't want you doing that. Actually, what I need you to do is just be here in the box, here, 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 and here. That's your zone. That's where I need you to be because that's where you're gonna give us the biggest return. All the other stuff that you could do, guess what? We have people in places who can do those things for us. You don't need to be taking free kicks. Why? Because we've got Kevin De Bruyne and he'll take the free kicks. So you don't need to be there. You can be there for the rebound to make sure that if it comes off the bar, you can pop it in there because that's what you're best at. So the obvious point that I'm getting to here is we are doing so much things in our business that we really shouldn't be doing. We are all individual people who have certain skills that we are phenomenal at and certain personality traits that we need to let come out here, but we're too busy working inside of our business and trying to put out fires in every single department and doing every single task that comes up that we just can't focus on the stuff that's actually gonna give us the biggest return of investment in our business. So how do we find out what that is for us? So let's look at something here. This is the drip matrix. DRIP stands for Delegate, Replacement, Investment, and Production. Now, you've seen the Eisenhower Matrix and different things like that on this channel before. We're not typically talking about the exact same thing. Now, how do we find our zone of genius here? Well, what we have to do is really look back and track what we have been doing or what we're currently doing in our business. Now, this can take a little bit of time. For me, when I saw this matrix, I went back for a full year and tracked all the tasks that I had done inside of my power list, looked back on my calendar, looked at all the events and different things that I was doing, and 
from there, I put them all into kind of sections and then added them into this piece right here. So let's look at these four boxes and how they actually operate. Now on the left hand side, what we're gonna do is let's just draw an arrow going up the way, boom. This is all about money. How much money does it make? Does it bring back an ROI on your time? And on the bottom here, let's draw another here. This is all about, does it light you up? Okay, does it make you feel good? Do you love doing it? How does it make you feel? That's a sun, by the way. I know my drawings aren't great. But so on the left, we've got this access of how much ROI, how much money does it make you? And on the right, on the bottom, sorry, we have got, does it light you up? Does it fill you? Does it, is it passionate? Like, are you loving the things that you're doing? And really what we want to be focused on then is this box here, right? Because this box means that this is the stuff that's lighting us up that we love doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of my tasks from last year in 2023 into the boxes so you can see exactly how I am working through this process. So let's go ahead and add those in. All right, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> okay, so this is everything for me that I've added into this drip matrix. Now you can see that there's a lot of stuff in here and the top right hand corner of this production piece, the stuff that lights me up and the stuff that makes me money is the stuff that I really want to keep doing that I love. And it's the stuff that really can't be outsourced. So let's take a look at this. Atlas Calls, this is my mastermind that I run with Mike Sherrard. I love, 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 love doing those calls. And it brings an ROI, right? It brings back the membership um, that we have on that. Agent Calls, uh, this is when I talk to agents about joining our group, joining our team. Love doing that too, because it's all about helping them kind of look past what they're struggling with and how we can help them moving forward. Um, course building, uh, I have a time management course coming out here in the very near future, so I love doing that. And then personal development, I love working on myself and making sure I can be the best version of myself. So these are the things, when I look back at all my tasks for 2023, everything in my calendar, those are the stuff that I love doing and also brings me the biggest ROI. Now, let's take a look at the replacement. What does this even mean? Well, these are tasks that do make money, right? These are things that actually help bring income into me, but they're things that I don't really enjoy anymore or that I need to replace. Now, Elevation is my group inside of EXP. Now, don't get it twisted. I love these calls, but what is lacking there is that I don't love teaching because I'm going over the same things over and over and over again. What I need is new, fresh blood to come in and start to share their ideas about the business and teach the agents on those calls. So that is a replacement piece for me that I need to get situated in 2024. Now the next one is the billing for Atlas and the support for Atlas. Again, I hate doing that stuff, but does it bring in income? Absolutely. Why? Because fulfillment matters with your clients, with whatever you're doing. And obviously, if we don't have billing, we don't get any credit cards swiped. We don't make any money. So these things need to be replaced. So let's go ahead and look at this. How about the stuff that lights me up that I love doing, but doesn't actually bring me a massive ROI. And the way I look at this, guys, is does it bring me an ROI like immediately? Is there a real quick return on income that I can see? If not, it goes in here because it's more of a slow burn. It's an investment in my business. So what have I got here? Newsletter articles. I love doing these. I love writing my Monday newsletter, but I don't really see a typical like ROI from that. I can't really track that that well. So it's in this column here. Uh, content creation, uh, business finances, um, jujitsu, working out, uh, book writing, podcast collabs, events and gatherings, and then meetings and EXPCon uh, bus tours, the big bus tour thing that we went on. Again, this lights me up, but I don't see that investment ROI come really quick back. So it goes in this piece here. Now, why is it even, you know, worthwhile to separate these things. Well, if I'm going to prioritize something, if my time gets jammed up, if I have to figure out what is it I'm going to do today, what is it I'm not going to do, I have to make sure that I'm going to prioritize this over this if I'm strapped for time. Okay. And like I said, this here is investment. So I'm investing into my business and building it, but I have to make sure that this is my zone of genius. And this is the stuff that's bringing back the ROI. So that's what I need to be focused on. 
This is the Erling Haaland box, right? It's the poacher, it's the goal scorer, that's where I need to be. And then the last one, guys, the most important box for me that I think is in here is delegation. And this is where we could talk for hours about this process. Delegation is the biggest piece of the puzzle that I find when I work with agents, it's the first thing we work on. Because we look at the example of that pitch, right? Of the formation on that team. What you're doing essentially is you're running all over the pitch and you're trying to cover all the positions and you're taking all the throw-ins, the free kicks, the goal kicks, and you're doing everything possible on that pitch where you should be focused on the things that you're really good at and you love doing. So we have to figure out who are the other players on the pitch, who are the other systems that you need to plug into to make sure that you can delegate the stuff that you don't need to be doing. This stuff just needs to tee you up to score the goals. So if I look at for me, management of platforms that I use for my groups, circle, school, building out slide decks, my branding, my, my website, funnel building, calendar management, social media management, email management, graphics, uh, scheduling guests for my channel. Um, all that stuff is stuff that needs to be done in my business, but it shouldn't be done by me. And how do I know this now? Well, because it doesn't light me up. I don't love doing that stuff and it doesn't bring me that ROI doesn't make me money off the bat. So what I would really encourage for you, for you guys to do is really to look at this like Pep Guardiola, like the manager. Look at the pitch, look at the field and say, okay, what positions am I playing in? Am I trying to cover all of the grass? Am I running from one end to the other like a headless chicken? If that's the case, you need to really start focusing and zoning in to where you should be working on your business. Because if you can find that zone of genius, if you can find the spot in your business where you really light up and it makes you money, what's gonna happen is your business is gonna grow exponentially because you're focused on those things. When you're doing stuff you love and makes you money, believe me, you want to work more. You're on it every day. You love to do what you do. And you've bought back your time because you've delegated, you've replaced all these other things that you shouldn't have been doing in the first place and now they're off your table, guess what? You have more time for your zone of genius. We've added more play time on the field for you to be in the box to score the goals. And this is how the drip matrix comes into play. So just like Erling Haaland, you may be tempted to play the whole game because maybe you love it. Maybe you just can't figure out what it is you love to do, but you really have to take a seat in the office like Pep Guardiola, the manager, sit down, look at the play and be like, okay, where is my zone of genius? What lights me up? What makes me money? I need to focus on that. How can I get rid of everything else? And how can I put the things that are really going to build my business onto my shoulders and everything else onto systems, processes, other people, VAs, TCs, everyone else you need to hire to make a successful team for your real estate business. So if this makes sense to you, if you found this useful, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you on this topic. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do so. That would be awesome too. We have a newsletter that goes out every week. We have masterminds. We have all the different things going on inside of our ecosystem. So you can check out the links below in the video description. And until then, I'll see you next time.